Yutsui. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and today I'm pretty happy to bring to you the Shinakuma by Storm Collectibles from the Street Fighter V Arcade Edition. And it looks absolutely amazing. This is from San Diego Comic Con 2018 exclusive. And he is around $70 here. He is kind of in a big package. Pretty excited about this figure. And uh, yeah. So if you guys have been following my channel, my last video on a Storm Collectibles was Hot Ryu. And that one just, it, it broke. I'm just going to be 100% honest with you guys. I got this figure because it does look good, but I don't really trust Storm Collectibles as much anymore. So this is kind of me going in, hoping to give this company a second chance. Because Hot Ryu was a fail. The legs fell off, and I contacted them, and I never got anything back, and I was pretty angry about it. So I said, you know what, I just won't buy Storm Collectibles figures anymore. Unless I see one that I really want. And this is one of them. Shin Akuma is one of my favorite versions of Akuma. And I believe he first shows up in, I believe, SNK versus Capcom. Or at least that's when I first saw him. And I was so psyched to see that he is made. So, enough talk. Let's see how he is. Let's just jump right into this, guys. And first and foremost, let's go look at paint and detail. And of course, we're going to talk about paint and detail and articulation and scale and whatnot and accessories. So let's go right into the paint and detail and let's look really close at this wonderfully sculpted face. Ooh, look at that. That is nice. I got to give it to Storm Collectibles. They really got it going on when it comes to paint and detail in their 112 scale figures. Although I have to say, this is not truly a 112 scale. He's awfully large and we're going to do some comparisons in the scale and articulation. So, so far he's looking really good. You got that dark gi. I always thought it was purple, but now it's kind of, look at it, it's just a really dark, like graphite black. And of course we have the reddish brown skin with the red sandals there, looking really good. And the sandals look like they can be removed. Can they be removed? I think they can. Yes, they can. They can be removed, but I will not be removing them. We'll, we'll, we'll be leaving that on. And so far, everything's great. Now, here's something I'm going to try. So he should be able to... Whoa, okay, okay. Looks like my concerns were indeed corrected, guys. Let's look at this. Now, I don't know how long they've been using this joint system. It looks like the joint system is no longer a ball joint that goes into his leg. Instead, now we have some sort of ratchet joint, maybe a, a smoother joint here. I don't, I don't know what kind of joint this is called, but it's definitely not the same as the ball joint system that Hot Ryu had. I know we're, we're staring at Akuma's crotch here. <laughs> but yeah, that this was the problem with the Hot Ryu. He was, it was a ball joint, and it popped right off, and it just never fit on the same as when I first opened him. In fact, that figure is kind of sitting doing nothing right now. He's not even on my display case, unfortunately. But this one definitely has the better joints, which is giving me a lot of hope for this figure. Thank you, Storm. I think you guys kind of figured it out that this figure or anything in the future should not have ball joints on the legs as they get loose and they can come off. So yes, whoo. All right, so I'm starting to have faith in this company yet again. So there he is, he's looking really good. Now that we're done with paint and detail, we're gonna go into accessories and the very last. And let's go through articulation skin. Oh, look at that, we even get a stand. So let's see what we got going on here. Excuse me, so, one so second. So far, here is the Mezco Punisher 112 Collective. Just look at the size difference right there, guys. Akuma is not a true 112 scale because he should fit with most six inch Figures, and then we have Marvel Legends, SH Figurettes, Goku, right there. Let's, uh, let's move to the side here, so you see what's going on. As you guys can see, Akuma is huge. He shouldn't be this big. And let's do a size comparison there. He's standing at a whomping. My goodness. He's a giant, including the hair bun, eight inches tall. Whereas Frank Castle stands at a little bit 
above six, I believe. Yeah, six and a quarter. And so does everyone else. Like, Spider-Man is six and a quarter, and I believe Goku is six inches. And therefore, that is not a true 112 scale, in my opinion. So, this, this Akuma is probably just going to sit by himself. Because he just doesn't look good with other, other action figures, in my opinion. So, let's move everyone aside. And now, let's look at accessories. We have six extra hands. We got the two extra faces. We got an angry face, a yelling face. But more importantly, what I really am looking forward to is this gi. Look at that gi. So what I really love about this gi is that this is the Shinako or the Raging Demon symbol on the back. And I was so sad to see that the Raging Demon symbol did not show up on the SH Figure Arts Akuma. Which, by the way, the beads have a, a stretchy thing there so it won't break when you're removing it. So let's attempt to... <clears throat> the ball joint for the head. Let's attempt to try to put this gi on. Okay, so we remove that, and we're going to take off the belt. It should just, it would loosen it up. Yeah, that's what I thought. And just like that, there you have the belt. And we're going to remove the gi or doji or whatever you want to call it, and put on, looking ripped. Look at that. <laughs> Looking really ripped. Jeez. Like I said, I wish Storm would lower the scale on these to fit the others, and I would just stop collecting the SH figure, our Street Fighter figure, especially now that I know that they've improved their joint system. So let's get this back on. I think this is how it goes back on. Okay, so it looks like you get a peg here, and it looks like it goes right through. Each of the geese, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm not mistaken, you put this gee, you have to put that there, and you have to put that there. So he has that peg sticking out, and then you can take the belt. It's kind of, oh, I don't think this is too much work, to be honest. And it should wrap around, like so. This is my first time doing this. There you have it. And it should just connect like that. And then let's try to get this head back on. And boom. There you have it. You have the Raging Demon Gi on there. Ooh, look at that, guys. Before I forget, let's go over articulation. I, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I know I forgot on the Punisher one on Mezco for the, uh, for the con exclusives. So let's, so just so I remember now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get articulation out of the way. So we have an up and down at the toe. Looks like we have a ball jointed, uh, ball jointed, no, is that a ball joint? Yeah, that looks like a ball joint, as it should be, on the ankle there. Okay, so we have an up and down at the toe, ball jointed uh, ankle. Looks like we have a double jointed knee right there. We have the new joints here for the upper leg. We have two joints at the midsection for a decent ab crunch. This figure is actually really tight. We have... Really nice range of motion on the butterfly joint. And we have, let's see, we have bicep swivel, bend at the elbow. Looks like we have, should be a peg ball joint. Yeah, so that's a peg ball joint there for the hand. And one ball joint at the neck, looking to be at about, about 23 points of articulation on this guy. Really articulated. Man, I'm starting to have faith in this company yet again. Yeah, the first series, like like uh, Hot Ryu and regular Ryu, I know we're having trouble. So they definitely fixed it with the proper joints. Very nice. So now that we have that out of the way, let's get a quick head swap. And we're going to do the yelling face. Ugh. I'm going to put that yelling face on there. Oh, man. Really tight joints now. Woo. Extremely tight. So there we have him. Looking really sharp. And of course, we got to get 
the flaming hands on him. Let's get these flaming hands on him. Now let's see how he looks. Oh, look at that, guys. Woo. Look at this. True Shinakuma fashion. Oh, look at that, guys. Look how awesome this guy looks. Let's, let's zoom in in there. Let's look at that. Oh, man. So detailed. You can even see the veins in his skin. The hair, the paint, the detail. Yes, I have rekindled my love for this series and this company. Uh, well, we'll see. Hopefully when I get home, he doesn't fall apart. <laughs> and that looks really cool. And of course you get a Hadouken, which we will showcase in the showcase that's coming up. So I'm gonna give you my assessment so far just from the initial unboxing that this company has definitely changed my mind. I used to not like Storm Collectibles. In fact, I stopped. I wanna get so many. I wanted to get Zangief. I wanted to get the Tekken series and all that, but the scale's a little too big. That's really what's starting to make me not want to continue to co collect Storm, is that they're just really big, and I kind of just want characters that I really want, and Shinokuma's definitely one of them. So yeah, if you guys do not mind the scale, then by all means, this figure is amazing. He's going for about 70 bucks here at SDCC 2018, and he is looking fantastic. With these flames and let's just make him pose and do a quick sure you can look at that just looking like a beast so beastly let's see oh <laughs> maybe i spoke too soon okay look well at least we can see that this is a definitely a different joint and that should just plug right in uh-oh every everyone stand by maybe i pushed it too hard Okay, that's much better. So yeah, there you go. He definitely stays better. Like the like my, my uh, hot Ryu would just, the leg would pop out so easily. This one looks to be a little more sturdy. Definitely more sturdy. You can do a solid high kick there. So anyway, yeah, final assessment, definitely worth the 70 bucks. So far, I'm really impressed with this figure. And yeah, if you don't mind the scale, by all means, he's worth the buy. Anyway guys, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey you, thanks for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe, where? Right here, not there, right here, you, and thanks for watching, so, rate, comment, and subscribe, right here, right there, right here, yeah.